Welcome back, Pokemon fans. My name is Angel of the Night 091, and today I'm joined by... Me! <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend, Amber. As you guys know, she's just staring out into the Pokemon universe, and uh, we are now into episode three of our Catch Them All Let's Play. So, in the last episode, we actually went through um, route number two, and we also caught some Pokemon all along the way, met up with the professor, and got our wishing stars. Mm -hmm. So now we can actually continue on through the, through the adventure and uh, continue on with this Let's Play. So um, in the last episode, um, basically we've gone through all you can see here, route number one and up to route number two where the purple house is. And we're basically going to go through and backtrack back and capture any kind of Pokemon that we need and uh, go forward. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Let's, let's just keep going. <laughs> Got your controller working? Yep. Okay. So I think I missed a few things here. Um, Amber found these here yesterday. There was a few items behind the house here, behind the professor's house. So if you guys didn't get that, you will want to go through and get that there as well. Uh, looks like it was a TM. Looks like Hop is wanting to race you back into town, I think, eh? Is that what are you saying? Alright, we got a great ball here as well. And we got a bottle of fresh water. That's what I was missing. The fresh water? Yeah. Let's see here, what's he say? One last thing before we race, Corey. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how you sometimes see Pokemon wandering about of uh, the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. <laughs> that amper's going right after me. Yeah, he, they'll chase you in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Try it out and let's see who can catch the most Pokemon, Corey. All right, I don't know. I don't think he's going to win. What do you think? Oh. I don't know. It might be a little bit difficult there. Uh, you remember Wedgehurst Station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before? That'll be the goal, so see you there. <laughs> Alright, I think I got all those Pokemon there anyway. Yeah, so I'm I just did gonna too. check the Pokedex here real quick to see if there's anything that I might have missed. Um don't have there's at least one here we didn't get, and I think that's the starter. Yeah. That's the opposite starter, like your your sobble there. So I think I think we've already got everything in this area. I'm just going to pop back over to route number one just uh, real quick. Um, as this game has been out for a couple of days now, uh, I realized that I forgot Caterpie in one of the areas on route number one. So I'm just going to backtrack there real quick just kind of see if I can actually find uh, Caterpie. And then I'll see if I can maybe meet up with Hop here. Oh. Nope. Run. I don't need any toodles. No toodles for me. <laughs> Mind you, if that Ninja Turtle wants to have some pizza party, we can have a pizza party. He just has to supply the pizza. <laughs> I should have caught him and called him Michelangelo. What do you think? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, like cowabunga. <laughs> it's like totally rad. Corey, you'll never beat me on that, on the station, bleh, to the station at that base. Oh yeah, don't even let me race him now. Just gonna pause right here. All right. I don't know, babe. You give him so easy. Ah, oh, such a, such a, such a cheater, that guy. <laughs> Not even giving me the opportunity. Whoop. That's why he's always excited. He's always like super pumped up to like go places. 
he knows he's gonna win. Right? <laughs> All right, come on. There must be a Caterpie here somewhere. I'm not sure what the percentage is, but I think the percentage is gonna be like something like 5% maybe. Bugs, come on. Let's get out of here. Oh. I'm using a different controller, guys. I'm using my SN30 Pro, and I must say it's a little bit more sensitive than the, uh, the previous controller. Oh, another blip bug. That is not what I wanted to find. any Pokemon you might have missed on route number one there? I don't know. How do you check? Uh, if you go into your menu system and go to your Pokedex, it'll show you what you've seen and what you've caught. So you didn't get Hoot Hoot. So you can see on the little map how it has a little Hoot Hoot bouncing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so you didn't get Hoot Hoot, um, but if you go up to where it says Pokedex uh, and click into that, that'll actually show you what Pokemon you need. So if oh, you scroll through... Oh, I didn't through, get a either. No, you got Rookity. See oh, the little I? Pokeball beside it? Oh, okay. Yeah, so the little Pokeball is going to show you what you've caught. And if there's just a little gray circle beside it, then it means you've missed one. Now, mind you, as we get further on into the game, uh, it's going to be a little bit harder to track those down. So I'll, I'll show you how to actually go in and see if you can find it. Okay. Now, mind you, chances are you can probably find some of those Pokemon further on in the uh, game as well. So if uh, if you didn't want to go back and try to search for them, you can always go forward too. It's really up to you what you'd like to do there, babe. I just know Caterpie's here somewhere. That's why I came back. Yeah. But uh, I know Hoot Hoots are in here too, but you might have to find those little exclamation marks. But I think you might also show up in like an overworld too. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, no. I got it. There you go. Ooh, you found Hoot Hoot quicker than I found Caterpie. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, uh, if you guys are looking at the uh, the camera for us both here today, and you're kind of wondering, hey, Corey, why are you looking off over here instead of like over here today? I didn't mirror my uh, camera today. We're actually sitting on opposite sides oh, no. than what we were. <laughs> oh no, what? I didn't catch him. Oh no. <laughs> Did he die? Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find him again. Oh, that's not what I wanted to find. No, that's what I've been finding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another blip bug. Oh, you find Caterpie. <laughs> Was he in the little exclamation mark? Yeah. Okay. But I also found Hoot Hoot there, too. Yeah, you, you got all the luck. Guys, she's totally gonna beat me in this catch em all. You watch. <laughs> she's gonna like destroy me in this. <laughs> it's not what I wanted to click. <laughs> What'd you click? Growl, I think. <laughs> oh, you lowered his attack power. That's okay. Uh, another school of it. Hmm? Whoa, that. Yeah. The chipmunk. Super cute. Just wait till you see his evolve farm. I bet it's like mm -hmm. crazy. Oh, you're learning water pulse. So that's giving you the option to choose which attack you want to take out. <laughs> it's a grubbin. I don't know if I'm okay with grubbin right now. No? Nope. I hope that fan's not picking up too much in the microphone. We kind of got two, uh, 
two fans going on in the background here, guys, so if it does pick up in the audio recording, I apologize. Hey, you oh, found your hoo hoo! Yeah. I'm just trading up my uh, score bunny while we're going. Hmm, that's the one. So I, I think uh, I just moved one of the fans a little bit there, and I think it's picking up a little bit less, so we'll try that here, see if that's any better. It's hard to, hard to record sometimes, guys, because you never know exactly <laughs> where the audio is going to get picked up from. And it's not like the uh, the equipment stays in one place, right? So you got to like set it up every time. Ooh, you got an excellent, babe. Yeah. You have now caught every Pokemon on route number one. Woohoo. Yeah, beat me to it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I still need Caterpie. I don't think I ever caught it. Could you imagine? I went through this and didn't get Caterpie. Or I already had Caterpie. Uh, Caterpie. Or I haven't seen Caterpie. Caterpie's not on the list, I think. I don't have Caterpie on mine. I'm pretty sure Caterpie's in this game. Yep, yeah, there he is. So it definitely isn't a version of exclusive, so you must be missing a Pokemon on one of the other routes. I'm not sure. How many, how many Pokemon have you uh, caught in yours? 10. 10 out of 11? Okay. Uh. Yeah, you don't have Square Bunny because he's a starter, right? Yeah. Uh, would that be the only one? And no, there would have been Grookey too, but you can't get Grookey right now. Oh, I know what one you're missing. You're missing uh, C Dot. It's that? like a it's like a chestnut Pokemon. Oh. Yeah, he would have been on the previous route, but that's okay. You can get him in the next one. Just Caterpie, you can't get in the next route. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, you should be okay. But we can we can uh, advance here if you want. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop though and see if I can get any more Pokeballs. I don't know if you can buy Pokeballs here in this town or not. No, you can't yet. No. No. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate because where we're going, we're gonna need them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So out with it, Corey. How many did you catch? I caught a really special one. And you got yourself? Oh. Just one? Looks like we're at a draw. Though, we are rivals and all, so that's fair. Hey, we got TM Swift. That's a good attack. I like that one. That's a special yeah. attack, guys. It's gonna be like... <laughs> you guys have ever played the games, you guys know what that means. Basically, it's shooting a bunch of stars at someone, so... Um, so basically, uh, TMs are reusable in this game, so you can teach any, any of your Pokemon uh, Swift. Um, there are what's called TRs, and I will get into that a little bit later, but they are a one-time use. But I'll show you a little bit more about how to get them and uh, just what they are. Hop's mom. Not quite so fast, you two. What are you doing here, mom? Mum. 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 Uh, I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Grookey as a partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift to see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. Babe, you like camping? Yeah. Hey, well, guess what? You can camp in this. Woohoo. Woohoo. <laughs> we got a set of camping gear from Moom. Thanks, Moom. Thanks, Moomy. No matter what happens out here, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks, Moom. <laughs> and just think how lucky you are, Mother, to the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be the champion next. You'll see. Of course you will be, darling. <laughs> anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. All I right. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, hopefully we don't perish on our journey. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than a train can go, Corey. Come on, we're off. Hey, babe, 
We're in a train. <laughs> Look at them graphics. We're tapping our toes, playing on our phones. Typical things on the <laughs> train. Right? So basically, this is just going to go through and just tell you about the wild area. So basically, it's a big, wide area. You can find a bunch of different Pokemon and uh, roaming Pokemon, Pokemon on the grass, kind of like what we were already seeing. But the thing is, is that if you get into an area that's too overleveled, uh, you're just not going to be able to go any further than that. So, Isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? Yes. This is the Wild Area Station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. Typical. <laughs> <laughs> What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. This is, this Wild Area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you, Cory? This is the best place to put together the greatest team. So, if you guys had uh, played Pokemon uh, Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu, uh, you're going to want to go up here and talk to these guys here. They're going to basically give you a Gigantamax Eevee and also a Gigantamax Pikachu. Alright, so I got the Eevee. I think you got Eevee, but did they give you the Pikachu? No. You never played the Pikachu one no. yet, right? No. Yeah. All right, here we go. Now, uh, to my understanding is that uh, these Pokemon are guaranteed to be six IVs. Uh, so th that means the individual values of the Pokemon and for its stats. So basically meaning that they're going to be the max stats. Cool. As you guys can tell, I've played for a little bit. I think I was up till 4 a.m. playing my Pokemon Sword last night. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Good thing it's vacation for me, I'll tell you. I had a full day of school, and before, like, <laughs> you pretty much got up, if I was in the morning. I didn't get up at all. <laughs> uh, best part about vacay. All right, so this is a cool part here, guys. Uh, so this is the wild area. Now... This is where you can actually start to see people online and start to communicate, start to trade, starting to do a bunch of different things. Uh, I'll show you the menu system here in a minute once we get through a little bit of the story here. So look at that. That's Modestoke, way off that way. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello. And if it isn't Sonya. My gran gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey. But what are you doing with your life? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, a little <laughs> much. Like, maybe she's, like, living her life the best way she knows. Okay. <laughs> Stick it to a grin. Oh, ouch, professor. <laughs> ah, never mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, <laughs> I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it. So the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Granel... Granel? Granel. Granel, admit... I've got some talent. Yikes! Being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? <laughs> yup. <laughs> Whoa. She's getting deep. Kids. Oh, you have no idea. Oh. <laughs> I said, you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really? All, all, something about ages. <laughs> really, it's been ages. <laughs> Uh, it's been real. F it's been great fun to fish and camp and rough it out outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of these red glowing dens as I can find. I'm going to battle the snot. 
out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page in a tale of my legend. Oh my. Oh my god, that guy's full of himself. Oh. Yep. What cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know? You'd better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too if you want to take on opponents that strong. You'll find spots uh, here in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There will be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? Ooh, Pokemon Box Link. Mm -hmm. So what this allows you guys to do is you can actually access your Pokemon PC uh, right from your Pokemon party. So all you do is you open up your party and uh, select the R button and you can actually swap your Pokemon from your box to your party. Um, I'm not going to read that because I pretty well just explained it right here. And she's telling us to go catch a bunch of Pokemon for our Pokedex. So I'm going to show you guys a pretty cool feature here. We're going to go ahead and uh, connect online. I'll show you here how to do that as well there, babe, if you'd like. But uh, what you can do is you can meet up with other players and you can actually get items from them and a bunch of things. I think that's really all it is. But if you go to your menu system, um, go over to your town map. Wait. No, I am wrong. Press your Y button. There we go. <laughs> My bad. All right, you see down in the bottom corner there where it says connect to the internet, you just hit your start button, and this is just going to connect you up to the internet. Oh, that's just the plus button, babe. <laughs> <laughs> we have different controls. Sorry, I'm playing on a Super Nintendo controller, so... <laughs> I have a start button, but just click your plus button and you'll be fine. So we are now connected to the internet and uh, we can actually start to see all of the different menus here. All these people are currently playing the game. Uh, oh yeah, you don't have online services, do you? Oh no, I'll okay. just get clients. <laughs> we'll, we'll work on that later. <laughs> I'll get you all fixed up. But yeah, basically you can go on and you can see players um, somewhere here, somewhere. Maybe there's no players here at the moment. Every oh, I think I saw you, babe. Did you? Yeah. Nope, that's not you. That's another trainer. I think I'm just going to turn off the feature because it kind of makes it a little bit laggy when you're when you're on the uh, internet with these people. Just there's so many people playing these games right now that it's it just lags, right? So. As you can see, the, the game was a little bit laggy there when we were turning it off. But essentially, you're going to go up to these uh, little glowing um, posts. These are what's called Pokemon Dens. And uh, the different pillars of light mean different things. However, I can't really say specifically what it means yet because no one's really been able to figure it out. Or if they have, I haven't been able to find the information. So, <laughs> when you click onto them, they give you a certain amount of watts. And watts can be spent on items later on. Um, so when there's a Pokemon in the den, you're going to get 300 watts. And uh, basically it's going to go through and show you here. But you see here how there's a star. Now the star means that uh, they have one IV. If you guys aren't sure what that means, we'll go into that further into detail as we get further into the videos. But you can actually just go right into the battle. So once you go into the fight, you're going to see here a gigantic Pokemon. And, oh my uh, god, we, we have Benelby. <laughs> yeah, right? Benelby. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of Pokemon there for you guys to catch in, in the wild area. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead here and uh, Dynamax our Benelby. And we're going to go for Max Fire. A Vulpix. Ooh, catch it, big, catch it. Nice little fire poke for you. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think I get Growl with the mine. So, maybe we can do a trade if you want to. But yeah, you guys can see here, uh, we got the Score Bunny, like, super, super pumped up. He's, like, hopping about. Hopefully he doesn't step on me because he's, like, gigantic. And 
we're just getting our, our butts a little bit handed to us here with this penalty. Uh, Pikachu, you know, doing a little bit of damage. So what it does uh, for, your, for your attacks and stuff in this game, once you're Gigantamaxed or Dynamaxed or whatever you want to call it here, uh, your attacks are going to be based on what typing of attacks you have on your, on your Pokemon. So for your four attacks that you have, like for example, Ember uh, turns into Max Flare. Now you can heal your Pokemon, you can, you can uh, fight with your Pokemon, but the Dynamax mode lasts only so many moves. So for example, this uh, Score Bunny's probably going to turn back into its regular size there in about three turns. And uh, <laughs> the battle ends in about 10 turns. So whether you catch the Benelby or not is really up to you. Um, I'm hoping we're gonna be able to catch it because it's gonna be a little bit stronger than some of the other ones that we've had. Now, mind you, that doesn't mean that the Pokemon that are in the wild are not going to be the same stat-wise. So, but you just have a greater chance of getting better stats than the dead. Oh, there we go. We've just taken the Benelby out. And this is where you're going to be able to go ahead and uh, catch the Benelby. So you can go through. You can select any Pokeball that you have. Great Ball, Ultra Ball, whatever it is. At this point in the game, we only have Pokeballs. Uh, and... If you do throw the Pokeball, there is a chance that they will break out of the ball as well. So just keep that in mind there when you're going through and playing. And these dens, they change every so often, so like a different Pokemon could be in this in this den later on. But uh, for the most part, we've got ourselves a Benelby on my side. I got one just now. Did you? That was a lot quicker than mine. I had to like become like a giant Pokemon. Oh. Um, now, after you take on a Pokemon from a den, they actually give you different items. So, you see up at the top here where it says experience candies? This is like rare candy, but at a different level. So, for example, if you use, like, let's say, uh, a small experience candy, it might level you up by one, or it might level you up by so, so much. Um, it only does so much experience points, so you might have to combo them to equal, like, one rare candy which is kind of interesting in the game as well. Uh, it gives you a couple of berries here. It gives you an attack called Tri Attack, and it gives you a Dynamax candy. Now the Dynamax candy um, will allow you to level up the power of your Pokemon when it Dynamaxes. So the key is, is you wanna max out that Dynamax on that Pokemon that you're gonna be using, because eventually on, you're gonna be using those in battles, like trainer battles, uh, gym battles, that sort of thing. So there goes one of the dens there for me. And let's take a look to see if we can actually find Growlithe. I wonder if we can find Growlithe. Oh, I'm getting some weird drifting on my controller here. Yeah, I was too. Weird. Why would it be doing that? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Ah, it's a mud break. I wonder if it's because we're... They're crossing. I don't know. <laughs> our consoles are kind of crossing right now, so... That could be why we're having some trouble with our controllers, I guess. The signals are crossing each other. Maybe I'll swap to a different controller. Goodness, this guy's hard to catch. I don't think that'll pick up on no. hmm. Alright, let's go to another Pokemon here. We're gonna go into the uh, school bit. Probably just try the Pokeball here. Yeah, I think that's probably what's happening. <laughs> Alright, got a mud break. Ooh, you're close to getting that Tyrogue. 
That Pokemon can evolve into three different ones. Yeah, he's really hard to catch. Yeah. I use like three balls on him. Yeah, the catch rate in the game is completely different I than others. Him. Nice. High five, babe. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a Growlithe. It is a Growlithe. Woohoo! I do not have my sword. Or my... Mm, I might have to swap sides again. <laughs> no, I'm having good luck on this side. I'll stay. Uh, <laughs> you'll, you'll stay? <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll have to just plug my uh, controller in. Hardwire it this time. I think that's what we did last time. We did last time. I think, I think we maybe hardwired them in. I caught this guy already. Yeah, you're, you're gonna run into some of the same characters every so often. Super high level. Level nine. Oh, there is a purple Dynamax over there. Oh, he's gonna be tough. Check <laughs> check out his level. Ooh, so yeah, so it, did it say that it was a very strong? No. No. So you can probably catch him then. It, as long as it doesn't say the Pokemon is very strong, Whoa. <laughs> uh, you'll be able to catch the Pokemon. If if it does say they're very strong, you guys just got to move on and come back to them later because uh, the game limits how far you can go in the wild. Yeah, you broke up. Yeah. yeah there's a crazy drift in this Oh, no. Yeah, so potion and a fresh water will uh, will work with your team. Ooh, I can't run away from the mud ray. Screw it, no. Okay, I'm just gonna go back up here, see if I can maybe heal up. Yeah, that, that Onyx, don't get into the fight with him. He's going to be too powerful. What else we got around here? Ah! Growl is chasing me. Oh. I did not want to run into him, but that's okay. Again. Yeah, they're they're pretty tough to catch in this game. Oh no, I'm probably gone. Yep. Poor Sobble. Okay, so 50 watts out of a den that doesn't have a Pokemon. Note. Use the right stick to rotate the camera. I think we already figured that out. There is a Metapod over there. Ooh, Baltoy. You already caught one, was it? Uh, Baltoy? yeah. Yeah. Now this is a great place to uh, try to train up your Pokemon there if you're just starting out the game, guys. Because you can always go back to the train station and heal up your Pokemon by that breeder. Is at the very beginning.
and see if maybe I can get it. Oh. There we go. Got myself a ball toy. Tough, eh? You made two of my Pokemon faint. Kick. Blood Bug is level 9. No nicknames. Mm -mm. No nicknames. Okay, I'll send him to the PC. Ooh, it's night in my game now. Oh, come back here, Better Pod. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and catch uh, any of the evolution Pokemon that come along. Just so that way, if I have to, I can just skip past uh, trying to evolve them directly. Ooh, he's a toughie. Yeah, I almost had him with that last Pokeball. He's been, like, getting on my Pokemon. Has he? Mm-hmm. I think I'm down to like one or two. <laughs> uh oh. You, you can run from them if you don't want to fight them. But I'm like so close. <laughs> you are pretty close. It's so 4 a.m. does to me, guys. A little bit of the yawns. <laughs> Hopefully I don't kill this thing. Whew. You are working it. <laughs> <laughs> Get that diggers B. Oh my gosh. That's a terrible matchup right there. I'm running out of options. I know. Ooh. I didn't even get to catch him. Aww. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> he fainted. Like, did he hit himself? No, I hit him. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, babe. You'll get him next time. He'll respawn at some point. But look at all the experience points you got on your team, eh? Yeah, I got a lot. You got quite a bit of experience out of that one. Now, is there a place there I can go to, like, heal up? Yeah, you got to go back to the train station. I'll go to that lady. Yeah, there's a lady. Uh, not, not the... Um, not the one that has a difficult adulthood, but the other one. <gasps> Babe! Your blood bug's evolving. He's Ooh, first evolution, guys. It is Amber's blood bug. <laughs> That's a weird looking one. It's called a Dotler. Yeah. What's it say for the decks there, babe? When it comes up. You want to read it out? It barely moves, but it's still alive. Hiding in its shell without food or water seems to have awakened its psychic powers. Ooh, it's a psychic bug type. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, I... that's kind of <laughs> neat. Reflect and light screen. That'll help you out. Confusion. Nice. Do you have any Pokeballs left? <laughs> you should try the the Dynamax one here to the right. Right here. Yeah, that big purple one. I found a note. I bet you the big purple one has like a bunch of like cool pokes or something. You just click on it there, yeah. So 
we get 300 watts. And we hit A and A. So you're going to be going up against that bug water type. Now who's that Pokemon, guys? Post your comments in the comment section below. What Pokemon is Amba going to face? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Did I click don't? Yeah, in that scenario, if you're connected to the internet, you could invite a bunch of other people. But this one here, it's going to assign four of the trainer, uh, three other trainers for you. Okay, cool. Yeah. Does it matter that like all my Pokemon are like? No, it heals you. Oh. Ooh, it's a Wimpod. That's a fugly looking one. <laughs> Look at him. He's super fugly. He's. What? I'm just saying he's fun. It's okay. You can keep going, babe. Okay. Oh, man. So the idea is here you want to Dynamax, and then you want to take out that Pokemon. Now, I'm going to try to get a couple of these Tyrogues here, because... Essentially, you want to have one that's uh, attack, one that's a defense, and one that's mute, like basic. Uh, that way, you can get like Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan. Sorry, Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, and then uh, Tyrod. Or not Tyrod. Hitmon Top. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of Pokemon in this game, oh, babe. Oh, ouch. Now, if he faints you, like if you faint from him, mm. you're out one turn. And then your Pokemon comes back. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you're not Dynamaxed. Or, yeah. Not Dynamaxed. I'll try this Ember here again. Oh, I killed my Tyro. one on the far side, but I don't think I'm ready for that yet at all. Yeah, my controller is all glitchy. Did you switch it? No, I couldn't switch. For some reason it wouldn't let me switch the controller. Oh, weird. Mm. It's okay though, I will uh, swap it out when we're finished up here. <laughs> it's just like throwing me in random circles right now. It's okay though. We're running into Pokemon, trading up some Pokemon. It's all good. Don't matter to me. Oh, hey, there you go, babe. Five Pokeballs. Yeah. But that's okay. You're going to get another Pokemon that you haven't caught yet. True. And that is what matters. We are going to catch them all, guys. Got to catch them all, babe. Got to catch them all. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Sweet. So you got seven extra small candies, two small candies, two Dynamax candies, and you got the attack Leech Life. Ooh. I'm trying to click Ember here, guys. It's not working. <laughs> I think what's happening is that the signals from the controllers are interfering with each other, so I'm probably going to go back to being uh, like a wired controller. You want to read out his, his decks there, babe, or did you want to just skip past? Oh, did I just skip it? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> we don't have to read them out. I was just asking if you wanted to read it. Oh, can I just click C summary? Uh, no, because that's going to show you the stats of the Pope. Oh. It's okay. So how do you feel about all this? Huge area, lots of Pokemon. It's nice. Mm. But you know what? I think we're probably gonna have to end the episode here. What do you think, babe? Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna end the episode here. If you guys enjoyed the video there today, go ahead and leave a like and be sure to post a comment. Give a huge shout out over this one here. She is trying super hard and uh, I love her for it. Thank you very much for joining me again there today, babe. You're welcome, honey <laughs> Alright guys, post your comments, like the video, and uh, be sure to subscribe for more Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield content. We'll be back in another video.
Peace out.